Theme song. A child is born in our village of uh, Solidonitia. Uh, Siroc has been born to our wonderful. Okay, we're. we're we, oh, Siroc, okay. Our stone cutter. Uh, our stone cutter uh, by the name of Sylvester, Sylvester and Stephanie had a baby named Siroc who's. Uh, already dutifully collecting bones. Let's name this person uh, Grimbling. Grimbling. <laughs> uh, thanks, Grimbling, for watching my videos, of course. Uh, and as you can tell, uh, folks, we are back in Astron Tycoon 2. I gotta say, I like this game. One of my commenters, uh, I pardon me, I forget your name, I forget who it was, uh, pointed out that this is a uh, husband and wife duo that made this game. Uh, that's amazing. They did a great job. So, um, one thing that I've noticed from watching Melomatic play this game and learning uh, from what he does is that definitely I am going to lose fame every time I have an impatient uh, pilgrim. So, I've thought of some strategies here. Our shaman, first of all, uh, needs to be up more often than he is asleep. That's just, come on, that just goes without saying. We need to figure out ways of keeping Steve up and at him uh, so that he can run these things. We have enough herbs. We have herbs coming out the wazoo. So we need him there running some rituals. Uh, and to, to do that, I want to upgrade the shaman's hut every uh, chance I get. Uh, okay, what do I have to trade? Oh, I've got a lot of herbs. So let's see if I can't get anything out of that. Fame is worth... Uh, I could do that and get some food. But again, I've got 50 food. So let's let's... Let's leave this trader. We don't need this trader. But what we do need is wood. Okay. Go chop some wood. Chopping that wood. Chopping that wood. So let's get that wood chopped. Then let's... Uh, I gotta remember what it is. Uh, o is to plant a tree. So let's, of course... Man, these footprints. <laughs> I feel like that's that should be the title of all these episodes. It's just watch... Solid content complain about footprints. Um, some more. There we go. Let's get one in there. Just keep on planting them trees. All right. So the last time we left, I believe I had made my stone cutter's hut. Okay, where's my... Ah, there. The sun priest's hut, um, which I can upgrade later. Uh, so what I need, I believe, is the sun priest's altar. So we are a ways away from that, though. We need 120 stone, a whole bunch of bones, a whole bunch of wood. Uh, okay, so let's speed up time again and get some folks. Oh, look at this cart. That's awesome. I didn't even know we had that. Uh, and I'd love to see what Steve is up to, because I'm really honestly hoping that he's running rituals. Yes, he is. Great work, Steve. Uh, you've got a lot of rituals to run, so let's keep going. Good work. Now, I do feel like maybe they've started... Yeah, see, look, I didn't tell them to shear that that <laughs> tree, uh, that herb thing. So they are actually doing it. They just don't do it as quickly or as often as I want them to. Pilgrim ritual successful. There we go. Stay there, Steve. <laughs> Can we upgrade your hut? Not yet. I need more wood. Uh, but I need more of everything if I want to build this altar. I need, like, a lot of stone. And my stone cutter, I assume, is... is doing his job. Where is my stone cutter going? Needs no resources to work. I don't know what that means. What is he doing? Okay, you know what it is? I think that they actually uh, go, they just pick at random. They go to different ones. So he's not just going to go. keep going to this wild uh, wild. Sorry, this one that's nearby. He's gonna go... He just kind of goes all over the map looking for stone. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> I say, hesitantly. Because it is also, if I'm being honest, a little bit annoying. Uh, because I'm trying to optimize them here. I, I will say that. Optimizing is kind of tough in this game. So, 120 stone. So, if I find... Let's just, like, help him out. Let's get some of my other folks. Mining some rocks. Uh, how are we doing for wood? 97. So we need... Uh, the hover doesn't work all the time. 50. Okay. Yeah, so stone is our main thing that we need. Our pilgrims 
are really enjoying our rituals. Steve, you are doing a great job. We're we're all proud of you, Steve. Now we could upgrade the hut. It's gonna use twelve point six of our stone. But again, this is my strategy. I'm gonna upgrade the hut because if we can keep getting this rest effectiveness as high like going up, that means he sleeps for less time, which means boom, more food and more pilgrims. Beautiful, an upgraded shaman's hut. Now we have 76% rest effectiveness. So Steve, he's just not gonna do much sleeping. We'll heal you. And we'll heal you. All right, things are, you know, quite frankly, looking up. Um, now in the meantime, like I should look at what else I wanna do here. Uh, I don't know that I can build any other huts. So I can't have a couple of herbalists. I can't have a couple of stone cutters. It's just one or the other. So what I could do is is get my lumberjack going and get my tanner going. Uh, and then, what are this? what is this now? Hover over it. The settlers will visit the stone of, the stone of prayers to talk to their gods. So that's a stone of prayers. Uh, they'll, uh, they'll be, okay, come on. Uh, they will be much more satisfied and efficient if I can get the Stone of Prayers going on. Okay. Oh, if you right-click, you get the thing. Okay. So just a prayer stone. All right. A lot of options here, but I, I think I'm going to keep saving up, and I'm going to get this this altar going. Because how are we doing here? 68 stone. Come on, guys. Put another one in there. Put another one in there. Is there any? Oh, yep, there was. <laughs> Mind that rock. All right, good. So uh, it looks like things are moving swimmingly here. Steve is uh, sleeping, but he's spending much less time sleeping. Oh, some more injuries. But that's okay because we have got... Uh, we have got a lot of herbs coming in. I don't know if that counts as... Uh, somebody in the comments, let me know. Like, Isn't there a term in video games called cheesing? Where you, where there's a, an exploit or a strategy in the game that's technically shouldn't be that allowable. Um, so I think what I mean by that is it's technically kind of cheesing, I think, if I'm using the definition right, to just make a million herb bushes like I've done. And I'm gonna do it more. <laughs> let's get another one in there. Yeah, let's put some in over here. <laughs> Come on. Let me place one. Please, for the love of God, let me place another. Yeah, see what I mean? There's just so many that I'm just never going to run out of herbs. Oh, excuse me. My voice just cracked pretty hard there. All right, so the trader. Oh, I missed the trader. That's all right. That's all right. Um, this this colony is basically, I mean, self-sufficient at this point. I have 351 fame. How much were these stones again? Uh, da -da -da, monument stones... Yeah, they just cost fame. Oh, that's great. So let's keep going on building my uh, my thing here. I think it was like that. Now, can I move them? Whoop. Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, as you can see, this is going to take shape. I want to do like a whole big circle around here and then put stones and stuff on top. So let's, let's build another one. <laughs> Like right, like that. I love it. I love it. Limestone is a common sedimentary rock. Supports shaman magic. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I can place it or something. Anyway, it looks like 123. It looks like we're getting close here. We're gonna have our sun god altar here this episode. I can't wait to see what they do. Uh, they do. They does, and uh, and I can't wait to unlock research. I feel like that's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be fun. I think. I hope. All right, we're low on wood again, so let's just keep on clear cutting. And then, just to make up for the lack of uh, trees, let's plant some trees. Uh, once again, a big thank you for all of the comments you guys are leaving. It kind of, it, honestly, it keeps me going. It, I, sometimes I wonder, like, what I'm doing. But really, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. So I'm glad that people are commenting and having fun. As much fun, hopefully, as I am having. 
in these games while we try to figure it out together. Um, really love like watching people like Melomatic doing it as well and other players uh, because there's a lot about this game and other games that I do not know and often go to these playthrough videos to learn about. So I'm glad that there's other people playing and coming up. There we go. Let's get those trees planted. Okay. Do I have enough fame yet for another stone? That's kind of all I'm about right now. No, but I hopefully have... Yeah, 153. Here we go. It is time to get my... What do I... Oh, 50. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, chop down those trees. Uh, so, the Priest of the Sun goes to this altar to study the movement of the sun. Uh, this altar does not receive bonuses from monuments. Okay, so... We could think about this. We could... I still kind of think I want it in here because this is going to be my whole, like, religious complex. It, that was kind of, like, my whole idea. So I think I still want to have it, you know, take place in there. All right, you guys chopping down trees or what? Somebody chop that tree down, too. Because here we go. It is time. Time now to build our altar. I love it. All right. I think we got it. Let's do it. In the middle of the winter, we are building our 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 altar here. Blocked by building 16.1. Set block by monument 7. Point. Okay, I see. Here's the thing. They need a lot of room, I guess. So my whole idea of like stacking these around is not going to be as doable. Blocked by building 25.5. I wish you'd tell me what the building is. All right, new plan. We have... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the new plan is. Put it over here. Put it near his thing. Too far from the campfire. So it needs to be... Oh, it does need to be in the space of this campfire. Okay, so this whole... This idea here is silly. <laughs> All right, fine. So let's place this out here like this. What side do you suppose he goes to? I bet that side. So let's do like something like so. Dun, 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 dun. There we have our sun priest altar. Not working at the moment. Call the priest. Well, let's not worry about that right now because I'm going to slow down time and see if I can't figure out what my uh, sun priest is actually going to do. Where is my sun priest? Sun priest hut. Oh, I don't have one yet. Of course. So I call one. My sun priest, Rikar. I think, uh, sun priest. There we are. All right, let's call this, Rik uh, let's call this sun priest here. Let's call uh, this sun priest, um, Barbora. After another one of my wonderful commenters. Ahoy! Barbora has taught me to say. It's a S Slovakian thing? A greeting? I still think I still think I'm being made fun of a little bit. Barbora. There you are. You are my sun priest. Um let's take a look now at the uh research options that we have. So we have a sun priest. Number of priests one. Knowledge acquired yesterday, today, da da da. Okay, so they're gonna go and do some knowledge acquiring. Research done, price one hundred and twenty knowledge. Healer's Hut and Altar. Okay, so this is going to unlock stuff. Shaman's Ritual. What's that done? What have I done? Research done. Price 100. Oh, I see. Okay, so I turn that talisman. Oops. If I turn the talisman, it's going to slowly research it. And that's going to cost me knowledge. Perfect. Okay, I see what's going on here. And so for some reason, I can't get into this. I'm just... I assume I need, like, a moon priest. And then a star priest? Is that a thing? Unlocks the gather spring equinox. Basic movement of the stars. So I need to do movement of the sun. Equinox. Spring equinox. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. these are unlocks that I need. A harvest festival. Cool. Before you can continue your research. You can set that on the ritual campfire panel. Oh my goodness. There is a lot going on in this game. A lot more than we thought was going on in this game. Yeah, open pilgrims can come. Yeah, I'm fine with pilgrims coming. Because I need my food to keep rolling in. 
So I don't know if this idea was the right idea to have all these monuments out. Maybe I'll have to move them around. Here we go, our, our sun priest is doing research. All right, this is looking good. Okay, 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 so uh, some research is continuing with my sun priest. I'm chopping down some wood and I thought it would be a good idea. Let's heal old Vampy here. It would be a good idea, and Melomatic, it would be a good idea to build uh, a lumberjack and see kind of what they get up to. So I've got enough wood for that now. So let's place that. Where's the door here? So T to rotate it back. And uh, yeah, I've learned, I've, I've, I don't know if I've learned some things. I've got some ideas here. Um, so let's go ahead and hire us a lumberjack. All right. So I don't know if we've named, uh, who do we have here? Grumbling the child. So what should we name uh, Thrill, Thr Thrilltran? We're gonna name Thrilltran. Um, uh, I think we already have an irrational. This will be another R wolf. I think we have an R wolf already, don't we? Let's see here. Yeah, we already have a kid named R wolf. All right, sorry, Lumberjack. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so what is he up to? Oh, he just goes out and chops down a tree any anywhere. Okay, well, that's fine. Hopefully they regrow. I'm gonna keep sort of micromanaging my forest here because I like having trees nearby. Um, and they grow really fast. I think that's something that maybe uh, this game uh, could could uh, balance a bit is like maybe the trees grow too fast. It's a little too easy for me. <laughs> it's too easy. Way too easy for the Solidonitians to get by. Not in the start though. Man, that early game is punishing. Okay, so let me show you what I've been learning, what I was talking about here. Okay, so check it out. I'm gonna keep building this idea. I'm gonna keep doing this idea. I think it's gonna work because here, this ritual fire is where I'm gonna eventually start running celebrations and things, right? So if I have all these stones around it, I think that's gonna look really cool. Um, and uh, I think that's going to make for some cool looking festivals, some cool looking screenshots here. And then, of course, our altars will be like, I guess, just around outside wherever they can fit as I research more ones. Man, everyone's getting injured, though. Uh, let's go heal these people. And then maybe I need a healer, too. Anyway, we've got our lumberjack going. We should call for a woman. There comes our woman. Okay. And yeah, let's spend a bit of fire here. and uh, Spend a bit of wood, I mean. And make that fire nice. Uh, here's another thing I've realized, but don't worry, the research is almost done. Uh, some of these guys are becoming impatient because look at this um, icon here. He needs that ritual to be run, which I can't provide him yet. But I am close to providing him. Price, 120 knowledge. I've got 90 knowledge. Uh, I think, by the way, I think this is how you pause it. If you hold it down... Usually it... Oh, never mind. Okay, earlier uh, when it was... Uh, when I was just playing through it and trying to save up some wood for you guys, I would click on this and it would rotate and then stop progress. So I thought that was a maybe a way to stop the uh, research from happening. I don't know. But see, look, I, can, I think I could probably move them to research that. But I don't want to yet. We're going to finish this one so he can do the other rituals. And so I stop losing fame. Uh, let's see. Cardinal points. Unlocks the building healer's hut and altar. Yeah, that's going to be next. Uh, for sure. We're out of wood again. All right, cut down some of these old growth trees. That'll get us through the harsh uh, summer evenings. Should we cut these down? Do I want, like, I don't know. It looks nice, though. We'll keep that there. That's yeah, tough. It's tough because aesthetically I want stuff to be, you know, there. I think I might also, like, pull these back. I wish there was some more, um, you know, like, fences or something I could put down. Let's see, what else can I build? I got the this thing going. I think I can... Am I able to do this yet? Yeah, I guess I could. I could just make another a moon priest. And then a uh, divine priest. Okay. And the ferryman. Oh, the, uh, the dead people. Yeah, okay, good. And... A seer's hut. Oh, very cool. I don't know why the hover goes away. The seer knows three advanced rituals. He works at the altar. Very cool, very cool. Um, what else do I want? The healer's hut, so that would be the next piece of research I'm going to do, maybe. The whisperer knows three rituals. The whisperer. <laughs> 
I like him. Hard to hear him. Hard to hear him, but they're good rituals. I mean, I think I've got the fame. I think I want to keep building stuff. What do we have here? A bone totem. Look at that. Cool. How expensive is it, though? It's not that bad. Ten stone is kind of rough, though. A bone totem. Bone to another type of bone totem. Yeah, I think I like this. Oops, this one better. But I think that's the question. What is the entrance here? What about these? What are these? 10, 10, and 10. 10 wood! Small torch. Decorative item. Pretty expensive, though. Small campfire. We could put little campfires here. Like, leading up here. Or we could put little campfires everywhere just to give us some light, maybe? That could be kind of fun. Do I want to do that? It seems weird to just have a random campfire out there, though, doesn't it? Looks kind of nice, though. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's put one there, just for fun. Yeah, come on, that's nice. Oops, oops. I spent one wood just illuminating the middle of the day. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> okay, that might be costing me a lot of wood. Maybe I don't want to do that. Place a decorative stone. Okay, very cool. Uh, but I kind of do want torches. I was kind of wanting torches like to create like a pathway down here, blocked by a shrub. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So if I would put one here... Okay, then I put another one right across from it, like this. Oh, yeah, that is... This is going to start looking uh, pretty ritual-y, ritual-esque. Ah, uh, we're out of wood already. Those things are expensive. All right, time to clear-cut this. And then, and then of course, I'll, I'll plant it again. Don't worry. I want Solidonitia to be a sustainable colony. <laughs> It's not hard to be sustainable when the trees grow back in like two minutes. Cut all these, cut all that, yeah. I cut a couple of young trees, you know? They, they, they had a bit more growth left to do, but that's okay. All right, what do I have? Oh, look at all this. Uh, let's just get it like, we might as well, right? And what else, what, what can he sell us? Let's get some food. Oh, he doesn't have any food. Let's get all that food. And uh, then we'll do this. I don't know. I just, uh, maybe this is a bad idea, but I just, I have so much. So many herbs. So much herbs. <laughs> do I need bones? No, I think the kids are picking up crazy amounts of bones. Yeah, so I guess I'm just picking up, uh, well, I might as well get this wood too. Since I'm here. There we go. There we are. Lots of food and wood. They're chopping down trees like crazy now. Look at them all falling. That's great. Okay, good. I can build another torch. <laughs> okay, like so. Is there a hot key for torch building? There ought to be. All right. Like so. Yeah, see, this is going to be the leading up path. Maybe we can put the... We can deforest a little bit and have the forest carry on over here. It's quite dark. It's hard to see right now. But we'll have the forest over here, and then we'll keep this path going down. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. What's this? A wooden stake is a decorative object. Well, I can't afford it right now. I've used all my stone. Wait, why does a wooden stake cost 10 stones? That's the most expensive wooden stake I've ever seen. The round hold stone is very strange. Its purpose is unknown. Oops. Rotate it. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I kind of want that immediately. Maybe just right in here. As you come into our, our chamber of commerce. <laughs> Can I move this? Can't move the ritual fire. So I might have to like move all this or something or see if I can't. Because like I'm, right now I'm coming in on an angle that's not quite matching up. Unless I moved these over a little bit. What is the trick? Ooh, research completed! All right, the shaman is now able to do all three of these rituals. So now I'm not going to have any... Oh, now fame is just going to roll in. All right, can I move this a little bit? No, I can't even move that. Okay, okay. Just throwing some tricks at me here. You know what? Look, does ancient stuff line up perfectly? No. All right? So what do you want from me? <laughs> and already this is, like, tough because it's not 
even that's not going to be perfectly lining up, right? So, something like this, I think. yo dabbity boo bidi bobbity boo Yes, yes! Feel the ritual. <laughs> so what do I got here? How do I place this guy? So this one's too low, so this must be meant for somewhere else. And then this one I can't afford yet. Uh, we'll, but we'll see if I can place that on top. I'm basically trying to do like a Stonehenge-y type situation here. Yeah, it's a bummer that that doesn't quite line up. But I bet I could actually... If I moved these... Slightly over? Oh, I can't. What about this guy? Can I move this one over? Oh, it's like right near there. So if I got rid of those herbs... Uh-oh. Okay, place it back down. If I got rid of these herbs here, I could shift the angle of approach. And then that might start to look a little more symmetrical. Maybe let's worry about that later. Right now, I want to worry about this. I want to worry about my resources. 200 wood! Whoa! This lumberjack is not messing around. <laughs> Chill, bro. Oh. Eh. Resources per hour. One wood every hour he is finding for me. Yes. Good lord, that guy works hard, eh? Okay, what else can we build? We should get our tanner going, our tannery. So we only need a couple more uh, pelts. So I could probably find that with a trader. And then, uh, what do I need? Uh, 60 stone. Research will unlock this. The bone workshop. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, wait, my research is done. What am I thinking? I should start another research. So... This one is, okay, I can't click on it anymore because it's been researched. This is, I believe, you know, I believe that's the next one, obviously. So let's, let's do it. Begin researching. The ritual healer and the healing of illnesses is going to be very important because if I keep forgetting that Vampy and Rakesh and all of these people are being horribly injured, we've got a couple of our wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even dealt with that. I don't care. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. Lumberjack Hut, you deserve to be upgraded. Oh, yeah, so, um... No, no, upgrade it. While I was uh, playing offline a little bit, just trying to save up some stuff, um, look at this. 95% rest effectiveness. I got the Shaman, Shaman? Shaman's Hut. Uh, very comfortable. It is a it is now like a premium sleep den for your the most premium of sleeps. And and I uh get some get some, get some healing. Get some healing bone carrier. So yeah, I think I want to get this tanner. I think I just want to basically move slowly down the list, right? Getting all of these things and eventually I'll be getting some of this higher stuff. Um, we could also just get another priest, I guess. Just have way more research going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's build the stone while we wait. Oh, no! Just the child died. Okay, you know what? Honestly, that's, it is sad. Don't get me wrong. It's very sad. But I, I didn't want to lose one of the village women's. So I'm glad that she survived. Because that keeps happening in this game. Okay, yeah, so these ones are higher up so I can place them, I, I guess, is the idea. Let's place this, like, here. Very nice. Yeah, those things are expensive. And these ones are too low. Okay, good to know. They're probably for the lower... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I could build an inner ring, too, as well, I guess. But really, I just want to kind of finish my Stonehenge, so I'm going to need a lot of fame for that. And my shaman will deliver. I just know it. Okay, because of that woodcutter, I'm basically not worried about wood anymore. In fact, check it out. I just spend wood like it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Light up my life. <laughs> Look at this village. It's coming along. I shouldn't spend wood like it's nothing. That was very... That was a bad idea. Okay, give me some uh, stones, people. Let's go mine some rocks. Our stone miner, he's okay. Honestly, I do feel like the stonesman could be working a little harder. If I'm being honest. I don't mean to be rude, but come on. I'm trying to raise a village here, not to 
give you an extra weekend. Okay, give me t some tanning, some leather, some whatever. Some hides, that's what I need. Um, nothing. Oh, something unplugged on my computer. <laughs> I'll take that fame at least. Oh, no, wait, what can I trade you for that? Whoa. <laughs> what can I trade you for this fame? I'd like the fame, but I don't have... I've got a lot of bones, I guess, and they're valuable. Let's give you a couple of around a couple of bones here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we don't need. Oops. Ten. Okay. Well, you have nothing else to give me, so let's do this. Give you a bit of uh, some wood, I guess. There, that's a little less of a deficit. Hook me up with some fame. Good, I can complete the next part of my thing here. Oop. Eh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Truly the greatest of all villages. I wonder if there are other villages out there. Don't know. Don't know if we'll ever see other villages. Well, we're getting close to getting our tanner here. We need to find a bunch of hides. Uh, actually, we're not far off from having enough hides. 30. So I need basically another ritual to go well. Where's my next pilgrim? Let's raise the probability here. Oh, <coughs> yes, hides. Oh, two. Only two at a time? Ah, you cheapskate. You don't even deserve this ritual you're getting. This cool rave ritual. <sighs> I know. I'm sorry I was rude. <laughs> I need more hides than that, you fools. All right, we've got enough stone coming in. We've got enough of everything. We just need a few more hides. All right, come on. Where's this pilgrim? That pilgrim's leaving? I don't know. They're coming in. Okay. Yeah, I need to up my pilgrim arrivals because now <laughs> I have a running society here. I can deal with many more pilgrims, especially because I can do all of the rituals. So I'm going to start seeing all my fame and stuff. Are you here yet? <sighs> No hide? All right. Well, I don't know. This has been going on for a while, so I think we're going to have to build this tanner in the next episode. And maybe, hopefully, we can get our uh, more, if not all, of our uh, the outer wall complete in this cool thing. Maybe the, maybe the lower wall should be on the outside here. So it's like it goes up. And then in the middle here, we can put some other stonework and stuff like that. Yeah, this thing is coming along. This, this little ritual place is coming along nice. That's going to be awesome. All right. I'm medium hooked on this game. I definitely want to kind of, you know, people are, you guys are watching it enough and leaving nice enough comments that I definitely want to push through it a bit more at least and, and see if I can't build everything here. And then, uh, and then we'll call it a day. A similar to Minya with a hole inside. It was used to study the movements of celestial objects. Can I just put it here? Too far from the campfire. Okay, so it's got to be in here. Oh, we can put these leading down to our ritual place. Like something like this. <laughs> I just did it. I just decided I was doing it. 108. They're like, they're pretty... That's not bad. <laughs> like his, whis his ritual whispers. Okay, whoops. All right, I got a lot of people that just showed up. Let's dial the pilgrim thing down. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Are you going to give me some hides? No, these people aren't giving me hides. When did hides become not popular? <coughs> there we go. Do this guy's ritual, please. When does when is he in the queue? <coughs> I feel like he's next, maybe. Where is it? Okay, give me some hides. Give me some hides. Ah, oh, come on! Stop doing rituals for these these stingy folks that aren't bringing me any hides. <laughs> there we go. So now this is our entrance to our sort of cool thing. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, in the next episode, we're going to get the tanner going. We are going to get all sorts of uh, developments in our in our village because it is really starting to pick up speed now. Now we're just now we're we're off to the races with this thing. This isn't even an ancient village anymore. This is basically just this is basically just like Chicago at this point. I mean, look how big it is. There's the train line. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you guys again in the next one. 300. Oh. Should, I, should I just buy a little... What is that? Ooh, I really want whatever that is.
Okay, <laughs> we'll do this later. We'll see you guys in the next episode of Solid Content.